Hi, I'm James from the Turner Guitar Studio in Leduc and Mournville and at TurnerGuitar.com and today I'm going to be showing you how to play a Half Moon Run song called Full Circle. Uh, this is a fairly complicated piece. If you're a beginner, you won't want to take on this one just yet. Um, now, it's just one pat or two patterns, I guess, with your right hand, two different picking patterns, both very related. Um, but they're using all five fingers, it's very, very fast, and then the chord changes are quite complicated. So, for the first pattern, we have your thumb taking care of either of your top two strings, depending on the chord, your index taking your fourth, your middle taking your third, your third taking your second string, and your pinky taking the very bottom. And they always keep their own strings, um, so you're never, you should never question uh, your fingers at all as to whether they're hitting the right string. You should train them just to know which uh, string it is they hit. And all, then all you have to do is pick the right finger. And so the easiest way to remember the pattern is to just um, think which finger you want to do. Um, you can count it out, uh, but that doesn't tell you necessarily which uh, string to hit or which note to hit or which finger you're plucking. So it's uh, easiest to go just thumb, index, middle, and then you have a thumb index third, thumb index pinky, thumb index third, and then thumb middle and thumb index. So those are your groupings. And just get it so that there's no gap in between those groupings. So it's thumb index middle, thumb index third, thumb index pinky, thumb index third, thumb middle, thumb index. And if you just repeat that over and over and over um, at a faster speed, change your chords on time, that's pretty much the whole song other than uh, your chorus, which is just different chords and slightly varied pattern. So I'll go through that quickly, just hanging on to my A minor, start uh, just really nice and slow. Thumb, index, middle, thumb, index, third, thumb, index, pinky, thumb, index, third, thumb, middle, thumb, index, thumb, index, middle, thumb, index, thumb, index, thumb, index third, thumb, index, pinky, thumb, index, third, thumb, middle, thumb, index, thumb, index, middle, thumb, index, 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 thumb, index,
Now, uh, we'll do that a little faster. So, um, follow along with that as well, and now I'll do it full speed. Now when it comes to the chords, the important thing is how they transition between each other. Uh, making sure that those are changing smoothly, that the correct fingers are being used and are uh, landing in the right spots, and the correct ones are staying as you make those transitions. Now in the description below I'll link a tab that shows uh, what the different chords are in there, a uh, tabbed out sort of form. Uh, use that to find those fingers. I will quickly show you them as well. So your first chord is an A sharp major seven. Your first finger is on the first fret on the fifth string. Your third finger is right below that, but on your third fret, your middle is right below that. On your second fret, pinky's on the second string below that. On your third fret, and then your bottom string is open. Now we'll pra practice switching these just by plucking your thumb on your fifth string or your sixth depending on the chord and then just all four of these at the same time. This will just save you a lot of hassle by having to think about your right hand doing the pattern um, but it'll challenge your chord in the exact same way. So that's your first chord. So you go thumb and then you switch to an A minor. Here nothing stays, you just shift to an A minor. Now when you go into your next chord um, they call it a G, I think, uh, but it's not really. Um, your third would slide in a fret, um, so make sure your third is on that third string on your A minor. You slide that in a fret, or up a fret, to your third fret. Your pinky goes right underneath it on your second string, and your middle goes up to the very top. Make sure these are the fingers you're using. And make sure that third slides run into trouble if it doesn't. And then you have your F slash A, which has your third finger go up a string, your middle go down one string beneath it on your second fret, and your first go to the very top string on the first fret. It's almost identical to that first chord, except that first finger's up a string. That's what that'll sound like. So your verse, again, goes from your A sharp major 7 to the A minor, slide in that third, and then when you switch to that F slash A, make sure that first gets there quickly, because it has the first one getting plucked, and make sure that pinky stays. If you move that pinky, you're going to be in deep trouble, because it's just going to be a lot more work finding it, and you lose that guide. Um, now when you go from your F slash A into your chorus, you are shifting to a D minor. Your pinky's already in the right spot, your middle's already in the right spot. All you have to do is lift that third off, get that first finger down, and then make sure your right hand shifts down a string. So, that's your D minor. Then you move your first finger up a string, your third lands on the fourth string on the third fret, and that's your F major 7. And again, you're still on the bottom four strings with these fingers. And then you hop these two up together, keeping the first on to get to your C. And then you do that C twice, so that's the first chord that'll repeat twice in a row. And then you go back to your A sharp major 7. So you want these first and third to move directly down the string. Your pinky just lands on that second string on the third fret underneath those and your first has to get back up to that fifth from that C. So that's going to be your hardest change there. So that one's going to take some practice. Um, if you're uncomfortable with these chords, just really pick one pair at a time, switch back and forth between them until you're 
up to full speed, um, just going you know like this. So say it's your A sharp major seven to that A minor. Just go back and forth until you can do it as fast as you feel you'll need to for the song, and then try doing it with the picking pattern, and then uh, start combining them into groups. So do maybe just a group of three or a whole group of four doing your whole verse at a time or just your chorus all in a row and then make sure you can switch from your verse so that F slash A into the D minor and from that C back in your F sharp or A sharp major 7. So it'll take quite a bit of work uh, if you're not really quick with your fingers if you haven't already done chords similar to this um, and if you have you can probably skip uh, most of that, so those steps and just learn what the chords are and practice in whatever way you normally do. So here's the whole song. Uh, I won't play through everything in a row just to save time, but I will go uh, through the cycle of your verse into your chorus, back into your verse, and back into your chorus. So you can hear all those transitions and try playing along. And I'll do this at full speed, so by now you should have already practiced all that other stuff and got into full speed. And then your intro, you just do holding on to this chord. things to keep in mind when you are playing this is you want those fingers to only make contact with the string they're trying to pluck in order to let the, all the rest ring out as long as possible until they are contacted again. That gives it a nice full ambient sound. Um, make sure your left hand's chords are really nice and clean and the, really the key to success on something like this is getting it all perfect off the bat. Don't try rushing stuff. Don't settle for uh, kind of mediocre uh, timing or choppiness because it's going to come back to haunt you as you speed up. Uh, your, oh, your best bet by far is to uh, hammer those out at a very slow speed, just take it easy, focus on one chord change at a time or one picking pattern at a time and uh, just repeat that until you're, you're flawless, your timing smooth, you're changing that chord perfectly, whatever it is, and then speed up, speed up, speed up from there until you're at full speed and then start combining stuff together. If you're trying to do too much at once, if you spread yourself too thin, if you let yourself um, do some of those mistakes, those will become habits and they're going to be really tough to break on a song that goes as fast as this does, uh, especially with the odd timing. So uh, work on that and uh, hopefully you found this video quite helpful. If you enjoyed it and would like more, you can visit us at turnerguitar.com or subscribe to our channel. Um, you can request other songs you'd like to be turned into videos. And, um, yeah, in general, just um, keep in contact with us and we will do what we can to help you out in learning songs and uh, all of that. So thanks for watching. See you next time.